Garrett coming off of a 2-0 victory against Isaac. Nick and Garrett here in Losers Finals, best of five. You gonna commentate with me, Andres? Andres says I have to, I guess I have to. This is the DDD matchup, so yes. I might as well. Andres, you've been doing really good lately. You've been taking eh. top eight I, I feel top like eight, I'm, haven't you? Yeah, but you know, that's not, that doesn't matter. If we're not top three, it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, but absolutely it does. We got uh, we got the boy DDD versus Ridley here. Now this matchup, I actually think it's in DDD's favor. Oh really? Interesting yeah, that you because, say that. I mean, me and Garrett have very close sets, but like, it's pretty even because they're both fat and they yeah can't really move around quickly. Yeah. So they're just gonna try to get the hard reads, but I think DDD with the Gordo is more powerful. Yeah, I think so. Look at oh, oh, wow. But then again, Garrett's just insane. Yeah, that man is a machine oh. going high over the forward smash. If he was at like 50%, he might have died there. Yeah, <laughs> he might. That thing is so strong. Definitely. It'd be interesting to see. Great. That was a spot, spot dodge into down tilt. Now Nick is on Nick's fire. Too. Yeah, that's what I was literally about to say. I was like, yo, he's actually been playing insane. Oh, and the up tilt clashing with the side beat. Really making it back. He went for the. That's a good setup. Definitely. He hadn't done that in a while. Oh my gosh, he's going for the down beat. I like the decision to let it go early there. Definitely. No way to just hold it. Oh. To use that too. Yeah. No, he's good. He's good. Oh, he's, good. Oh, he's dead from the re grab. Oh no. Unfortunately, I'm surprised at that forward smash clips like that. Mm. It's very disjointed. I've seen him do it a lot today. Like, he just edge guards people. Oh, see what I mean? Wow, yeah. That Gordo setup, he's just so fat on the ledge. There you go. See, he, he ledge traps Ridley very hard. It's very hard for Ridley to get back on the stage. And Nick in particular, Nick is a phenomenal player at ledge trapping. Just like that, running yeah. away, getting the forward tilt, layering those Gordos with other options. And that's a good get up right there. It's a good get off me. Oof. Can't really get the Gordo going right now. He's gotten the neutral air down. That, yeah. Oh wow. Something that I think would be very hard for Ridley in this matchup is reflecting Gordo. Mm -hmm. Ridley has a lot. I mean, of he can slow he can do neutral air and stuff, but that's about it. You, the whole point with DDD and Gordo is you want to limit their options. Yeah. You want to take away what they're gonna do, and you want to make them uncomfortable with your projectile. And you want to condition them yeah. at the ledge with the Gordo. Absolutely. Like, like that. that. Yeah. Side of oh, wow, what an up B coming out of nowhere. That was so dangerous though. If Nick didn't get hit by that, he could have punished. Oh, and not. Uh, I don't oh, know about the roar. He's just too fat to get around that. Yeah. Even if you roll, like the way he was spaced, he was going to get hit by that. Yeah, dude, that fourth smash is huge on Ridley. Ooh, charging it, hoping that he would have oh. spot dodged. Uh, oh, oh, and he catches him. Oh my gosh, that was sick. If he was at higher percent, he might have got stage spiked. Yeah, definitely. What a smart play coming out from C. Tobin. Yeah, he's adapted really well. Uh, up tilt the up air, mm -hmm. racking up some damage back air to get him off stage. Now he's Down making, into he's making him very uncomfortable now. This is DDD's worst problem, is getting back on. Yeah. So hard. Side so to get to the other side of the stage, put him in another situation. Oh. I like that. I like the jump up forward air. It's a good counter to that setup. Oh, but wow, there it is. Wow, and the side B, just the hammer. He did, I know. Uh, <laughs> he was at super high percent, though. And near the ledge. I don't think he was quite expecting him to mash out like that. DDD sitting at 150. DDD, hard to kill, but, you know, yeah. as you can see, Garrett knows exactly what to do. Space, back air. He just needs to hit him one time, yeah. realistically. The back air. Or any of the smashes. But 66% unanswered. He may say, "Oh my gosh!" Oh, okay, now he's 86. He says, "I am okay. not going out like this." Oh, ow. oh my gosh! I think the better option would have been not charge it and pop Something smash. like up tilt, but back yeah, here. for sure. But he was feeling himself, and you know, I respect it. If you got the read, oh, oh. he didn't tech. He didn't tech the landing. So unfortunate. That is why we need to tech everything. Did a great job of bringing that back, but just could not 
steal it out that sock. C Tobin goes up 1 0 against He Man. What are you thinking right now, Andres? Is the DDD player yourself? I don't know. He played really well, you know. He ledge trapped him like he's supposed to, so he just needs to clean it up near the end. That yeah. missed tech really cost him. It did, yeah. He uh, he could have brought back that whole set, mm -hmm. that whole game. Excuse me. DD just just lives forever, and Ridley, Ridley's big, but he's not actually super heavy. Yeah. Like DDD, who's top three, I think. He's tied with DK for second yeah, and third. DK. Probably Bowser's probably the heaviest. Yeah, thing. yeah, I think so. Bowser's super ridiculous. fast. <laughs> yeah. Character never dies. I don't know what he has to do here. He just needs to just get the ledge traps more consistently and finish it off at the ledge. Definitely. Something that I saw is he He needs to find an answer for that uh, jump forward air, actually. Yeah. Because he's been doing he's been doing that a lot, actually. Especially the, the reflex, too. Um, mm -hmm. Seems like he's a little bit almost uncertain about what will reflect and what won't. I like that, though. Guarding the edge. Oh. See, that's the problem with Ridley. You know, he goes to try to edge guard him, and now he's on the ledge. Now he's trying to get back on. That's why I think this matchup is pretty even, but oh, wow. Yeah. I don't know about that. Yeah, neutral V, yeah, going straight through. He started charging it when he was already flaming, so. There it is like again, using yeah. His multiple jumps. <laughs> wow. Did he hit him with it? Or was that the weak hit? I believe so. I don't know. Actually, I think it was a weak hit mm -hmm. on that, that dash attack. That's supposed to do way more. Yeah, that dash attack murders people. Mm -hmm. And it was near the ledge. Wow, Sight. he's at super high percent now. Let's see how he's going to get back on right here. He's just waiting. Hanging there. Wow. Oh, that was very patient. I like that. Oh, immediate yeah, so response. Trading it back. Tip. He's just so fat. That's not going to kill. Oh, but that oh, is. Oh, trying, yeah, trying to keep him off him with the up air, but that forward air dropped down a little bit too far. I love that recovery he does. Yeah. Just aims it straight toward the ledge. Oh! Oh, missing the down the air. Down Get up air, attack yeah. pushes back on stage. Something that I love just about Garrett as a player is when he mashes, he mashes. He gets his entire body into it. I think it's hysterical. Forward tilt. That's Great a way to mash, option. Oh, wow. There we go. Yeah, Forward air. Taking him all the way off. That move puts you in such a bad position. Yeah. Especially against DDD, who can edge guard and set up on the ledge on you. Yeah. That's why, it, you know, eh, we'll see. We'll just see how this set plays out here. Yeah, for sure. Wow, it takes it back. I think he went for forward tilt and reflected it back. Is that reflected back with forward tilt, yeah? Mm -hmm. It just it changes the animation a little bit. Oh, okay. Anytime he hits it with this hammer with any of his moves, it does that weird animation oh, okay. where he's like, eh. That's interesting. Wow. Yeah. yeah and he may actually still yeah. have that stop really decisively. Yeah, he's been playing really good all day. Certainly. His forward air is taking him off stage. Oh, the up B angle. So unfortunate. Really cannot control that. That was way better though from uh, from Hime there. Absolutely, and I think the difference was he was edge guarding mm. a lot more. I think that he was going off stage and challenging the up B when he could. Yeah, and game that's what one, you should do. He was kind of playing the more patient game, throwing out Gordos and stuff like that, trying to space him out. And uh, Cito wasn't having it; he was spacing him out, you know, just right back at him, stuff like that. But now, you know, DDD was chasing I'm him off stage. Curious to see if Garrett might switch here, because I feel like I played. His Ridley, and you know, I think King K rules a better matchup against really DDD because the crown, the crown counters Gordo so hard. Yeah, it just powers through everything. Yeah, as long as it stays out for a long time. But you know, he's feeling confident with the Ridley, so I respect yeah. it. You know, stick to what you know right now. Yeah, and he does have a. He didn't Joker. play bad last game. He just oh, oh no, the SD immediately. Oh this is why we play best of five. Mm -hmm. That's gonna hurt him though. It is. By that, I think probably a better stage for DDD. Really? Yeah, I would say so. It's interesting that uh, Garrett took him here. I actually hate the stage. Really? That's interesting yeah. you say that. Because uh, DDD's recovery is very vertical. Yeah. And since that ledge is very small, he gets forward stuffed smash, underneath too. very easily, but forward yeah. smash right there. Yeah, I have the same problem. I'm a Ness player myself. So. That ledge is so small. It, it is, yeah. And it, you, 
you cannot ride the wall or anything like that. But I think it's a great stage for DDD. Um, three, you know, low hanging platforms, up till up smash, up till, or yeah. like that. That's true. That is the only good part, though. It's interesting that Garrett took him here. I wonder why uh, he chose to do so. Oh wow! Rest about the little, stage. little early with the up smash right there. I don't know. That forward throw, I don't think I've ever seen that animation. He just kind of tossed him back off stage. Oh wow, he mashes out for the side I can't He almost died. Wow. Oh, that's really good though. Oh, see? There we go. Yeah, that setup is really good. And maybe that's why he took him here, is that, that slanted angle? Yeah, that slant. For that forward smash. And it's that. It's very thin near the edge yeah. too, so that forward smash I feel like hits through. It'll hit through the bottom. If he's just holding on the ledge too long, it's definitely gonna get him every time. Ooh, I think he tried to be reverse. Yep. Great job shielding that he forward smash. He teched that though. That was the yeah. tech. Man, now no one's been getting the mashes today out of that. Yeah. Now the side now, beam. Yeah, that's true. Now, if he may had another stock right now, it'd be pretty even. Yeah, and it's still even. DVD's fat. He's gonna live a decent amount of moves. Mm, he's scared right now. He's feeling him out, though. They're both feeling each other out. He really, I think Garrett did, saw what happened last time, and he realized that. Oh, never mind. wow, forward air. Oh, he's fine. living. He's living. Great DI. This is why DI is so important. Gosh, DD just falls so fast, it scares me sometimes. Wow, rolling through that forward smash, racking up 70%. Oh my the gosh. Back air. What kind of hit. hitbox was that? DDD's fat, brother. He <laughs> is, I wonder. Super fat. I wonder if he had gone for forward tilt or something like that. That happens on DDD too, he has a hitbox right in front of him. Yeah. And if someone's fat, they definitely get sent oh, this yeah. way. <laughs> wow, that was an interesting interaction right there. I definitely would have waited the back air if I was But like you said, there. I feel like if he had another sock there, it would have been a little, he could have played a yeah. little bit safer and better. Could have played his game more. Yeah, so now Seat opens up 2-1 to Hime. Um, yeah, just like you said, he, he definitely could have taken that last game if it wasn't for that SD at almost 0%. So, you know, I could absolutely see Hime winning these next two games. Moving on to Grand Finals, mm -hmm. that, would, that would be a sight. Yeah, I mean, would that be his first Grand Finals? I think that would be his first Grand Finals here. He might have had uh, one Yeah, before. maybe he had one other one. He might have had... But it's been a while for sure. Oh, certainly, yeah. He might have had one Grand Finals, I think, against Tadeo. Hold on. Hold on, can you put up his wins real quick for, yeah. for Bracket? I want to see who he beat today. Uh, oh, wow. 2-0 Tadeo. Yeah. That's insane. Yep, Nick 2 2 0 He's got some. Oh my god. Crash it 2 0 today. Oh. Yeah, man. Losing wow. to Jamari 3 1. Yeah, that was unfortunate, but here we go. Let's see if we can close it out against Garrett, though. Now, both of them have a long road ahead of them into Grand Finals. Garrett and uh, Jamari sitting in the winner's side of Grand Finals right now. And That's going to be a tough one. Yeah, Jamari and Garrett have a long history of playing each other. Um, I think Jamari's a little bit up. Oh, I don't know if I, I would have countered that. Or oh. cancel that. <laughs> yeah. Cancel that. He wouldn't have killed him because he was jumping, but yeah. would did a lot of damage. Ooh. Side beat taken That was very smart. He waited. He waited out the back air. That was a good side Gordo. Giving him room to get back on the stage, but he's just as soon as I said that he's back off again. Oh my god. Wow, that air reflecting that Gordo. And if Hime does make it out of this set, he's, he's got Jamari waiting for him in Grand Finals. Jamari pulled out a Toon Link against his DDD and Toyota. That, that's just a really bad matchup. Yeah, I think all the links are oh, really wow. wow. Dash attack. That's a classic one right there. That hitbox staying out so long. Reminds me of Palutena up smash. Really? Stays out forever. Clips people. And it kills. Oh my gosh. Oh no, he's fine. He's fine. Oh man, he's he's really on the Gordos right now. But you know, it's a very even game. All these games have been very even. Nick is popping off right now. Yeah. Potentially his best performance yet. Um, only two Definitely out of summer. 
of the yeah, summer for sure. Certainly, yeah. 2 0 against Tadeo, especially Tadeo coming off, off of these two uh, first place finishes these past few weeks. That's I mean, that's some huge. impressive win, but an unfortunate Ooh. SD right there. Yeah. And he, he was at a high percentage, you know. Um, yeah. Garrett just I mean, needs to. Yeah. You know, Nick just needs to push that victory now. Oh, oh he got drift. He drifted. He drifted well. back at the last second because he saw Ridley jump. And so that's two SDs in game four. Ooh, not going to hit with the down B. Reflect that. A single fireball. Great choice. Oh, yeah. Fireball is great against Gordo. And Garrett really just not letting him play the way he wants to play with Gordo. He's hyping no. taking him off stage. He's at 70 unanswered. Wow. Yeah, now he's just going to keep him off the stage right here. Oh, good roll on. Great roll. Missing that back air. 91%. Zero. Actually, excuse me, 8% on. Now, he means he's got to be careful. He could kill himself with his Gordo right here. If he gets it hit back and it's a strong hit. Ooh. Yeah, he's going to play a lot differently now. But Nair sending him backwards. I think uh, Garrett's going to go for the forward smash here for the win. Certainly. Right on the ledge. He's going to try to get him yeah. off one more time. Yeah, and then Nick's probably going to roll in and he's going to do that flip around forward smash that he always gets people with. But Nick bringing it back big right now. Yep, 60%. He's staying 75. away, chipping damage at him. Oh, the grab out of the fireball. Oh, he matches out, possible. actually. Oh my gosh. And the dash, dash attack, attack takes it. Wow. Bringing it back. It is 2-2 two, two right now. He, hanged on just, or he hung on just a little too long right there. Just a frame too long. And that hitbox lasts a very long time. Uh, we're going to game five now. See Tobin and Hime. If, if Hime takes this, he's, he's going to join the ranks, the exclusive club of people who have beaten C Tobin. Mm -hmm. We use Battle of the yeah. BC rule set here. Yeah, they're, they're waiting. Discussing it they're right deciding now. Their, uh, their map here. Let's see what they go to. What would you do in a situation like this? What do you think would be a good counter pick? Well, for if I was counter picking Smashville. Definitely yeah. smash and that's what they locked in. I really dislike that one platform. Yeah. And it's in the center, so... And it's a small map. So much yeah. wrong with that map. Yeah. There's just actually, now more it. I think about it's it, just so... more bad things for, for DDD. Yeah. I just, it's super hard for him to do anything on that map, and it's hard for him to camp and get away from yeah, uh, Ridley. Sure. But we'll see what he can do here. It's not completely unwinnable, it's just my least favorite on DDD for sure. Yeah. And Nick certainly has shown us these past two, past four games that he has what it takes to win. Um, Very clutch at the end on all those games. Yeah, won closing that, it out. Yeah, lost that, that lost that second game. Um, it was down in complete stock because of an SD. Yeah. Oh, oh that wow. Forward smash almost, almost stealing killed. it out. I don't know about that. Oh no, it was good. It was good. It's good recovery. Oh, he spaced that just a little bit backwards. Yeah, I don't think that's been punished yet. Or he should have up smashed. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Just all the same. Landing. Yeah, both these characters are fat, so their up smashes are going to catch them. Any body part of them. Oh, it goes for it again. But wow, protects himself with the Gordo. Up. I really like his Gordo game right now. Yeah. Sitting to the other side of the stage. Mm. Going for the back air. Yeah. That forward taking him off. C Tobin wants oh, to get wow. back to Grant. Oh, and the stage spike. That was techable, but I don't think any of us saw that coming. We're good, we're good. We're fine right now. Garrett exchanging some words, but Nick is locked into his headset. Yeah. He Nick's is, not going to be able to hear yeah. right now. He is focused, he's in the game. I actually don't like listening to music though. I like hearing the game sound. Yeah, I need the sound here. cues very badly. Yeah. Anyways, let's see. Well, he hasn't taken any, barely any percent here. He's looking good still. Absolutely doable. Ooh, that was really, such a good fireball. He really wants to close I think he's stuck out early. The oh my ears of shield. The nipple right there. getting him right there. Yeah. Down for you and the dash attack. Such a good move. It's a multi hit, so it's just safe. You can't really parry it unless you parry all of it. 
This is the situation. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the forward air. Wait for him to air dodge. Yeah. Misses on the up air, but, you know, we're still good. We're still good. Oh, look, that's it. And that forward smash takes it. so much rage, though. So. Yeah. Seatoven takes it 3-2. Continues his reign. This man has never not been in grand finals. I've said that multiple times tonight.